So what has happened to it? Where did it go? What happened to our customer service that we used to get years ago? I know that some of you are probably sitting there going, uh-oh, he has a problem with his LS and the dealership's not taking care of him. That's not true. My dealer is Deets Tractor in Seguin, Texas. They have taken very good care of me. Every time I've asked them for something, they've been responsive. They've helped me out. Uh, and no one's perfect. No one is perfect. I will say that, though. And, and you got to remember that sometimes the customer can be over-demanding just as much as the, the dealer can be underperforming. Customer service is a thing of the past, it, it, it is what I've seen. Some people may disagree with me on some of that, but just walk into any major store nowadays and, and see if you can find somebody to help you. We've got a little bell yet to ring and they're understaffed. They don't have enough people to take care of it. You walk up to the front, you don't even have a person standing there for a cash register anymore. It's all about, it's all about saving money. It's all about that microwave society of getting it done and getting things right now. And, and that, I think it's, that's some of our problem. You know, and it's, it's not always brand specific. It's just not. For example, I, I, I tell you right now, I went into the John, I had, uh, well, actually, I called John Deere uh, to find some parts for that Frontier uh, 56, DM 5060. And one John Deere, we have two John Deere uh, locations that are very close to me. And I called one of them, and the maintenance or the service department or the parts department were not very responsive. It was almost like I was causing a problem because I was calling them because I needed parts or I wanted to find out some information. I even had the guy on the phone go, well, okay, let me see if I can do something. And it was that attitude. It truly was. So, you know, then I went to, I called another John Deere dealer that's not that far away as well. That was, they were super responsive. They jumped right on everything. He said, let me see what I can do for you. And, and, and that's way different than, than the, the response I got from the other dealership. So it's not always the brand. It could be just the dealership in itself, or the people working behind the counter. Maybe they're having a bad day. I don't know. But at the same time, this type of stuff goes on all the time. And then all of a sudden, now we're sitting there going, uh, oh, you know, that brand is horrible. Their, their, their uh, customer service is terrible. That may be true in some things. I'm not going to argue that. That I will not argue at all. I mean, there are some brands out there. I've had it happen to me where uh, the, the brand, the company that, uh, that, you bought, that owns the product that you bought not, and not the dealership were not responsive. They did not even, they would not take care of the dealership. The dealership was having a hard time getting their stuff and so forth. That's ridiculous. It really is. You have a you have a dealership that's trying to help a customer that has bought your product and you want to stay in business. How? How are you going to stay in business in that kind of situation? I know there's a lot of people out there who want to say, you know what? Uh, my customer service is the greatest. And that's probably true for you. It could be, but not for everybody. Uh, even my LS even though I have good customer service with my LS, I have had people comment that they've had horrible customer service with their stuff. And, and that's unexcusable. It just is. I'm not going to defend uh, anyone uh, that has, uh, you know, does, does not give good customer service. I'm just not. But I am going to say this. If you want to stay in business and you want to have a loyal customer following, and you want your name to get out there, you have to provide customer service. You have to. This field is extremely rough. We have a company called McCoy's, McCoy's Building Center. Uh, I have gone, I went into McCoy's here a while back to, to, to get some stuff and the managers uh, in San Marcos, San Marcos, Texas, they were on top of things. They were making sure that uh, I, I was taken care of. Uh, they, they were very engaged. They were, and that's customer service. But that was not the only McCoy's I had that happen in. I'm just saying that the San Marcos store was even more than in some of the other ones. Their customer service was outstanding. Just say that. 
I also went into the McCoys in New Braunfels. We got this, we got really good treatment. Someone met me. What do you need, sir? Let's get take you down. Let's get it taken care of. Let's go find what you need. That's customer service right there. Find that in some of our local stores nowadays, our bigger big box stores, so to speak. You walk into the store, you can barely find anybody to say hello to. But you can't even find somebody that checks you out, much less anything else. And then they expect that their customer service is great. No, we have lost the art of customer service. It's gone. It's not there anymore. And we have forgotten it. Businesses and companies have forgotten the people. And I do mean from the customer to the employee himself. They have forgotten that they are nobody without either one. They are not. You can argue with me all day long. Now, if you're a really small company and you're the only person running it, you already know that if you don't take care of your customer, uh, you don't take care of your customer, you won't be in business much longer. Customer service is just not with us anymore like it used to be. I wish I could say, you know what, we've got the best customer service on, on all kinds of things. Deets Tractor has provided me with good customer service. There's a John Deere place in San Marcos that's provided me with good customer service. That's all there is to it. There is a, there is other companies, there's a, there's a New Holland dealership that's in uh, uh, Shiner, Texas. It's awesome. You walk in the store, you're dealing with the owners usually and, and are, you're dealing with somebody that's very involved and very much part of that company. That's good customer service. You start dealing with corporations and large corporations especially and, and I don't even know why any company wants to become a corporate company anymore because the, the, cause if you look at the way corporate treats people, it's not good. Oh, we're becoming more corporate. That's scary. That's a scary. Those are scary words because most likely you're not going to be taken care of. We're very, very quick to say, oh, we had, they're, they're terrible. That company or that, that business is horrible. They don't have any customer service. But sometimes we need to point out the good people too. And, and I, I want to make sure I say that. There's a place in Seguin, Texas that uh, it's a machine shop. I called them the other day. I've never used them before. Uh, didn't know who they were. Didn't even know they existed. I did not know they were there. Called them there. Called them up. Said, "Hey, uh, I've got some. I've got some uh, machine work that I need done. Are you? Would you guys be willing to do it?" Not only were they willing to do it, they came and picked up the stuff that I needed to take to them. They came and got it. He says, "Oh, hey, we're coming that direction. We're going to come get it for you." And then he trusted me enough that he just got my information, and he took the parts and and went and st I guess he's now working on them. Uh, but here's the deal: I went by there the other day just to see their shop because I, I didn't know anything about them and I wanted to know a little more information if I'm going to provide if I'm going to give them uh, business uh, and some, man it could be you know not a huge amount of business but if I'm going to provide them business I'd like to know a little more about them this is this is Seguin machine I think is what it's called uh, whenever I went there the owner he took me on a tour of the shop he was happy to help me didn't matter how busy he was, he was happy to take me out, show me his shop, show me what they do, show me some of the project they were working on to, to I guess you could say, to help ease my mind of who they are and what kind of company they are. You know what? I feel so much better now with the parts that they have, the things that they were working on. I saw some of the things they did and I saw their, I saw their shop. So the art of customer service is not just the sale of whatever it is they're selling, especially in something with a motor in it, the vehicles, tractors, and so forth. There's a service side. There's a parts side. Uh, there are other things that you might come back and buy. I may come back and buy another tractor. All those things are going to be, those things are going to determine uh, how much money that dealer makes. And so a dealership that does not serve that customer that just bought something is losing out. You, it's not just the sale. It's not just the sale of the tractor or the car. Again, uh, this, this whole thing's about customer service more than anything and how we've got a lack of it, which we do. There's companies all over this area here that, that have a lack of customer service. They don't take care of you. But there's companies that also, uh, businesses that bend over backwards trying to take care of you. Most of them are mom and pop type businesses. 
<laughs> they're not all corporate because the, the corporate world seems to not really care. Uh, they've got so many people uh, doing stuff for them. They don't. They don't even feel the loss of you as a customer. There are times where you need something taken care of and you need it right away. One of the things that I have seen in the past is that big businesses with lots of equipment that is a huge customer gets taken care of way before the guy that has one piece of equipment. He relies on that piece of equipment to get his work done, but he's pushed to the back burner because he's just not the hit high roller. He's not the heavy spender. He gets pushed to the back, and that's not fair either. It's not. Uh, if, if they can get his piece of equipment back out, he's a, he's a customer too. The, it's still a piece of equipment. It's still one piece of equipment. That customer is going to go out and tell uh, several other people how good he was treated in your business, no matter who you are. If LS, if John Deere, if Ford, Chevrolet, any of them make a terrible product and they don't stand behind that product, then I don't think they should be in business. Okay? None of them. Because we are expecting, we are expecting our, our, our cars, our tractors, our equipment to, to run, to be there when we need them. And we expect that our, our customer service, our dealers, our, our uh, manufacturer reps, and so forth, be there when we need them. That's what we expect. If it's a legitimate problem, then that customer needs to be taken care of and well taken care of. If it's not a legitimate problem and the customer has just plain abuse, he ran his piece of equipment off into a stock pond and uh, he, he drowned it in the tank and he wants it replaced under warranty, it's probably not gonna happen, okay? But if he was working with it and it just stopped working, then he deserves his piece of equipment under warranty to be repaired. And even if it's not under warranty, he, he deserves that there be service there, there'll be parts there, there'll be someone there to take care of them. Remember, if you want someone to continue to buy that product, to buy your parts, to continue to do your, to keep your product going, uh, and you want to continue to stay in business, take care of the customer. And that's really what it boils down to. I hope this video gets out to some of those that provide bad customer service. And I hope that you at least just think about what they're doing and how quickly they can go out of business without us, the consumer, the customer. And make sure that you give kudos, you give you give props, you give the, a pat on the back to those guys that are providing customer good customer service. They deserve it. I think we all know about all the bad stuff. Let's 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 talk about some of the good stuff too. And still, I understand when we have to call somebody, a, a, a group out. If somebody's not taking care of the customer, we have to call them out. That's all there is to it. But at the same time, let's give an alternative to who we can go to and get our our machinery, our parts, everything taken care of. Step up to the plate, guys. Manufacturers, dealers, step up to the plate. Do what you're supposed to do. Customer service has become a lost art. Until next time, though, thanks.